students our today's topic is agriculture now the question is that what is agriculture the agriculture is actually a transformation of plants to a finished good involves three type of activity now if you see that where the human beings are engaged then human beings are engaged in three different different types of activities they are first is the it is called the first sector or we can say it the primary sector by name it is clear that in primary sector human beings are doing works which are directly linked with nature and nature produce those things the examples are like agriculture or we can say mining now let us come to the second sector which is also called the secondary industrial or the manufacturing sector in this sector we established industries where we produce things in secondary sectors we take the final finished good of the primary sector as a raw material it is a raw material for second sector after processing all this raw material it produced its final finished good which is called goods it's which is a, it's a final product let us take the examples the secondary sector takes wheat from the primary sector after processing it it make horlicks or compline now the third sector which is called the tertiary or service sector this third sector provides its service to secondary sector and primary sector now wherever the industries are established near around these industries the urban sector developed this urban sector is called cities in these cities they provides many things like education through this education they gives skilled labor to primary sector or secondary sector like the engineers managers etc similarly banks gives the service of loans to both the sectors markets now here markets means both the things the share markets and plus the consumers also and many other things like this so this is how secondary sector helps primary sector and secondary sectors and secondary and primary sector gives its final goods to tertiary sectors now our today's topic is primary sector which is agriculture in agriculture if you see that how many agriculture is a very old occupation of 
man humans are doing agriculture since thousands of years if we see today's uh, present data then world's world's 50 percent peoples are engaged in agricultural activities in india where 70 percent peoples are lived in villages our total two third population is engaged in agriculture work now let us come to those factors which, which affecting agriculture activity Now take factor one by one. The first and the most important factor is soil. If the soil is fertile soil, then obviously it produced many crops in the whole year. Like alluvial soil produce rice and other important crops. If the soil is black soil, then this soil help for the productions of cotton. If the soils are dry soils, then these soils helps for the productions of millets so soil is one of the important factor in agriculture the second factor is relief relief means topography how the land is if the land is mountain mountainous land means a slopy land then this in this land tree like uh, tea like crops are good because they need uh, continuously fresh water so they need a slopey land if the land uh, the crops like rice need a totally flat land so relief also helps in the production of the crops they are also one of the important factor the other factor is rainfall which is very important like rice needs 200 or more than 200 cm rainfall while the wheat need 75 cm rainfall many millet crops needs less than 75 to 50 cm rainfall so because of rainfall people uh, farmers are growing on that basis farmers are growing different different types of crops the another important factor is the temperature so if it is see temperature then there are many crops which need high temperature like rice and other crops are grown in the temperate zones uh, sorry torrid zones while wheat and some other crops are grown in the temperate regions let us take the another factor and that is population here we are taking the human factors basically population also affect the production of agriculture if the population is very dense then at that place we see the cultivations of intensive agriculture while the population is not dense very less population at that place farmers are growing extensive crops the next factor is culture if we see cultural then culture is also affect the production of agriculture area the punjab region is very the whole climatic factors and human factors are totally favorable for the production of tobacco in punjab regions but the punjabis are not produce tobacco because their culture is not giving them permission to produce tobacco in guru granth sahib the production of tobacco is using of tobacco is totally prohibited similarly we go to the northeastern part of india at that area also in their tribal culture the use of milk is totally production so that's why they are not producing or engaged in the production of milk so the culture also affect the production of agriculture the next factor is machinery and technology if we see obviously if the machines are if there are machines and technology then 
we get high productions but if the, we have no machines and technologies are totally old then we see a primitive type of agricultures where people are producing crops but it's a totally substance crops the next thing which we will see is the chemical chemicals in chemicals also we are using different types of fertilizers which help the production of different types of crops if the land is not giving permission for the production of a particular type of crop but with the help of fertilizers we can easily grow different types of crops in a land so here are some natural or the human factors which are responsible for the product which are responsible we can say which are affecting the activity of agriculture now if we see agriculture then agriculture is not only for um, not only the cultivation of crops here agriculture is a is a work where people are engaged in different types of works which are directly linked with agriculture like people are producing silk which is called the sari culture means uh, rearing silk worm pasi culture breeding of fishes veti culture means cultivations of grapes hoti culture uh, that is the growing of vegetables and fruits and same as the dairy we are producing production of the milk and uh, rather than these some other crops like the productions of eggs which is called poultry farming productions of honey so all those things where we are producing different types of things which are directly linked with nature is called agriculture so agriculture doesn't mean only farming farming cultivation so if we see if we come to the farming or cultivation then the types of farming are types of farming we can divide types of farming into two parts the first one we we can say it a uh, subsistence farming or the second one we can say commercial farming now subsistence farming means where the farmer is producing different types of crops for the fulfillment of their his or his family's needs only that is called subsistence farming while in the commercial farming farmer produce different types of crops for the purpose of commercial means for the purpose to gain profits or earning money now subsistence farming there are different types of substance farming intensive substance agriculture intensive substance agriculture means where the population is very dense and a high population is depend on a small land area the first thing is that in small in a particular small land area many peoples are depend on this land area and they all are engaged in this particular land area and the production which whatever production this land area produce for example 10 kg rice then the whole production is consumed by all these peoples which are living here so that's why this type of agriculture is called intensive agriculture producing in high dense populated areas like the areas of Uh, in india we can say the area of like bihar uttar pradesh odisha and west bengal region now let us come to 
the second word which we hear in substance agriculture is the primitive agriculture by name it is clear primitive means old type of agriculture where the farmers are using old type of agriculture in india especially in the hilly regions or in remote areas or in the forest region where tribals are living they all are using old type of agriculture with the help of animals who they are cultivating lands and producing agriculture they are not using any kind of machines one of the primitive agriculture which they are producing is shifting agriculture but by name it is clear shifting agriculture means where the farmers are doing agriculture for a particular time of period and then they shift to next land and then they produce again start cultivation work here there is a land forest area where farmer cut a particular land area like this land area for a short time period where it, they cut the whole trees then they burn these trees because of the ash the soil become fertile and they cultivate different types of crops in this land for the next 2 3 years when the soil then the fertility of soils sorry soil ki jo fertility hat jati hai to they change and shift to next land and then they cut the nearby land area forest land area again cut that land areas burn those trees and producing different types of crops in that land area so because they are burning cutting the trees and burning and then producing land is called slash and burn agriculture also this is now this shifting agriculture in different parts of the world are called uh, by local they are called like zooming in uh, northeast india especially in the manipur region in melappa in mexico roca in brazil etc they are also known as deepa in india in the char charkhand or chatisgarh region plus andaman islands now there is another type of agriculture also here which is doing in a lake in manipur and also in the dal lake in shrinagar where the local peoples are making small platform with the help of sticks uske par wo thodi si ghas sukhi ghas ka upar dete hain और फिर उसके ऊपर वो फर्टाइल सॉइल को रख देते हैं इसके बाद वो इसको इसके ऊपर एग्रीकल्चर वर्क करते हैं स्पेशली दे आर डूइंग हॉर्टिकल्चर इन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म जब फार्मर ने यहाँ पर एग्रीकल्चर वर्क किया और वो चला जाता है घर शाम को जब वापस आता है तो वो देखता है कि उसका लैंड यहाँ पहुँच गया क्योंकि वो फ्लोट होकर दूसरी जगह चला जाता है दिस टाइप ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड शिफ्टिंग एग्रीकल्चर दे ऑल आर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्रिमेटिव एग्रीकल्चर नाउ लेट एस टेक एनदर the word which we listen in substance farming that is the subsistence farming that is the nomadic agriculture by name it is clear nomadic means where people are not living in particular land area they continuously change their areas in this type of uh, agriculture comes the gaddis of himachal and the gurjars of Rajasthan now let us come to the commercial in commercial opposite of intensive is the extensive so by by name it is also clear intensive means where the population is very dense and extensive means where population is very less so because population is very less so only two or three farmers are producing crop in a very big land area it's a very big land area 
so only two farmers are with the help of machines heavy machines modern technology they are producing crops the production is very high here like 100 kg rice they are producing but they need only 10 kg means the remaining rice which they produced they sell to the market mandi and from where they these all rice export to different parts of the country because they produced this agriculture for commercial purpose that is why this is called commercial that was that is why this comes in commercial agriculture now the other farming or agriculture comes in commercials are plantation means where only once a plant tree a particular type of tree is plant for the next 50 60 or 100 years and that plant gives productions once in an agriculture years or twice in an agriculture years the examples are sugarcane for the next three years tea grapes coffee etc so these are the types of farming substance and commercial farming now in last let us come to the pattern different from pattern of farming if you see the pattern the first type of pattern which we see is the kharif the kharif type kharif means when the farmer sowing their crops in the starting of monsoon that means mid of june the time is different in india because monsoon starts first june in kerala till 15th june in jaisalmer so from mid june to october we can say or we can say diwali or dashara because it's a monsoon period so these types uh, all the crops which need water they all crops in this period like rice now the second one is the rabi period rabi crops growing in between diwali to holi that is october november to march april it's a cold period winter season so the all the crops which are called temperate crops they all are growing in these periods and they get they all need very less water also the next type of crop is the zaid or jaid the time in between the march and june that is the summer period means 90 days during these 80 or 90 days some farmers especially of those farmers of alluvial soil region like punjab and haryana with the help of irrigation they produce some special types of crops like uh, satbi which they are called satbi it's a maize sat means sat within 60 days maize they get maize and or they produced uh, vegetables horticultures during this period this period is called zaid period so if we see the pattern then there are three patterns only kharif that is the monsoon season rabi winter season and zaid the summer season so today we done only Today we done what is agriculture, the factors which affect agricultural activities, then different types of agricultures, and in last we done the pattern. In that's all for today. In the next class we will do different crops and all the conditions which they needs plus agriculture development also. That's all for today. Thank you.